Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com So there have been changes uh, in the GST exemption limits that all the students should be aware about. So my name is Ramandeep Singh and uh, please subscribe this channel and follow that us on telegram on telegram slash bank exams today you can also install the bank exams today mobile application on google play right so this application is available on google play please check there so let's start uh, the exemption limit under the goods and service tax regime was 20 lakh and now it is 40 lakhs it has been increased from 20 lakhs to 40 lakhs but one important thing that you need to note that this limit is only for goods and not for services for services the limit is still 20 lakhs 20 lakhs for services and now the new limit for the goods is 40 lakhs 20 lakhs for services 40 lakhs for goods right and this uh, you know this uh, rule is going to be applicable from 1st of April 2019 right so really important what is the exemption limit for goods 40 lakhs services 20 lakhs right and for the uh, GST exemption limit for the northeast states has been doubled to from 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs it was 10 lakhs but now it is 20 lakhs so really important exemption limits goods 40 lakhs services 20 lakhs northeast states 20 lakhs okay so composition scheme uh, what is composition scheme c students if uh, there are some businesses who don't want to claim input tax credit uh, or who who are not interested in doing you know who are not interested in filing uh, the monthly returns right what they can do is they can opt for composition scheme under the composition scheme uh let's say if they are making a sale of let's say uh, 1 crore rupee in a year right they need to pay 1% of the tax 1% of 1 crore 1 lakh rupee they need to pay every year so that is composition scheme uh see the limit was 1 crore rupees but after 1st of april the limit has been increased to 1.5 crore rupees so now all the traders who used to i mean uh, all the traders whose sales is less than 1.5 crores again i'm just talking about goods not services for goods it is 1.5 lakh rupees 1.5 crore rupees 1% tax uh, they can pay it and they won't get any input claim uh, any tax credit credit so for example for selling this 1 crore rupee of products if they are already paying some gst already paying some tax on the input on their purchases they won't get any benefit of that they won't get any tax benefit of that right so that's the point number one and now the services have been included the service sector has been included in the composition scheme uh before this uh, you know before the scheme uh before this uh, you know press release the service segment was not included the service sector was not included in the composition scheme but now the service sector has been included but the limit for the service sector is 50 lakh for service sector the limit is 50 lakhs for service sector for service sector the limit of composition scheme so if your revenue is less than 50 lakh rupees and you are a service provider you can opt for the composition scheme right and the tax to be paid is 6% in case of service provider. You need to pay 6% tax. For restaurant owners, it is 5%. But for the service providers, it is 6%. For goods, it is 1%. At present, 1.17 crore businesses are registered with the GST. Really important. Out of these 18 lakhs firm have, have opted for the composition scheme. There are 18 lakh firm who have already opted for the composition scheme. I have already discussed that, uh, that uh, the service providers whose turnover is less than 50 lakh rupees, they can opt for the composition scheme and they need to pay a 6% of the uh, 6% 6, uh, 6 of the services provided of the turnover as a GST they cannot get uh, they they kind cannot get any uh, input tax credit on that so for example to provide this service they they paid uh, you know uh, 
they paid for um, uh, they paid their rent for the server expenses and all all those expenses in which they already paid the GST they won't get any input tax credit uh, and one more important uh, one more important thing that I think I just forgot this exemption limit uh, in case the central government they gave an option to the states that in case they want to keep the uh, exemption limit 20 lakhs they can keep it there are states like Chhattisgarh and Kerala uh, it's in the news that they can keep this limit the 20 lakhs limit but as of now uh, it's, there is no news but the central government gave an option that yes you can you know opt for uh, the 20 lakh limit only there is no need to increase uh, the the tax exemption limit in case you don't want to right so that's what uh, the central government told to the state governments and then the kerala to levy one percent disaster says uh, kerala has been you know uh, requesting the central government to allow the state to levy one percent disaster says on all the gst payments so now the central government allowed it now the kerala it it is going to levy one percent disaster says on intrastate sale of goods and service not the interstate so the goods and services bought and uh, sold within uh, the borders of kerala one percent of disaster says is to be levied uh, on uh, the on the goods and services you know uh, sold outside the uh, you know boundaries of Kerala that disaster says won't be levied okay and that can be levied up to a uh, two year period to mobilize the revenues to me meet the cost of rehabilitation of parts of states uh, where the floods actually damaged the public property so what is going to be the impact on the tax collection so uh, the annual revenue losses arises from the decision to double the tax exemption to 40 lakh rupees as estimated to be 5200 crores so that much you know uh, money is going to be is going to be cost to the central government which is not huge if we consider uh, the monthly collection that is i think around um, 1 lakh crore 90000 to 1 lakh crore that that's what the central government is collecting from gst so the twin relaxation in composition uh, scheme will have an annual revenue impact of 3000 crore so the composition scheme 3000 crore and the exemption limit increase uh, impact is 5200 crore that is the impact not really important but you should know it so that's all for today students if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and please subscribe the channel and like this video there is a bell icon uh, you know click that bell icon as well and follow us on telegram so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye